What is going on guys? How y'all doing today? Today we got a brand new video with the girlfriends Mazda Speed 3. So I've had a few people, you know, ask me, hey, can we see some mods with the Mazda Speed 3? And yeah, today we're gonna do it. I did not plan to do this video today at all. Um, yesterday I tried doing the O2 sensor on my Winter Beater Mazda 3 and it's rested in, so I had to stall that video. And I'm also blocked out of the shop right now. Everyone's home at the house, uh, so I can't get in and I'm not gonna bother asking. I was gonna do the spark plugs on the Winter Beater as well, but that's gonna be a future video for next weekend. Um, um, with a little tutorial with that. So um, I didn't expect to make this video today, but today we're gonna be doing the pause. So I'm gonna say Torx Solutions a ton in this video. It's actually Damon, Damon plate, not a Torx Solutions plate. I didn't know until the end of the video when I realized, so not Torx Solutions. Thank you, Damon, for making a great plate. Torx Solutions, um, the short shift plate on the Mazda Speed 3. And get a little tutorial and compare, well, somewhat comparison for you guys, so you guys can do this yourself. This is a really, really cheap mod that I would suggest doing to get a nice shorter shift and make it a bit more pleasurable to drive either daily and tracking or just anything in general with your Mazda Speed 3. So uh, this is the Torx Solutions short shift plate. This is all that comes with it and this is all that you're gonna need. This utilizes the stock uh, weight um, in the in the uh, transmission on the Mazda Speed 3s. Um, so you won't need anything except this piece that I'm pretty sure this is all it comes with. Unless it comes with a different weight, I'm not sure. Anyways, this is all I got. I had this on my red Mazda Speed 3. This Mazda Speed 3 has a JBR short shift plate but, uh, and it's a lot, lot shorter. It's probably the shortest throw you can get out of a plate. But the problem is, is that with these transmissions, um, this pin right here, this is where your cable sits on. This plate exactly utilizes the same position that the OEM shifter sits while the JBR, the reason why you're getting such a short throw is because it sits higher and what that's doing is it's there's some conspiracy in there that it's changing the position of the forks and every time you shift it's wearing them down a lot quicker so that JVR plate in that car right now is technically causing long-term damage to that transmission which is what we're trying to stay away from by installing this so today um, comparison to the JVR and the torque solutions plate I am losing a throw but with this this is a bit more positive because this is gonna be a lot smoother with the JBR plate it's quite um, clunky like it, it, it's not really smooth and this is gonna be a bit longer of a throw but again it's gonna be uh, smoother it's gonna be more milkier and it's gonna save your transmission in the long term which she plans to keep this car for a long time and if she doesn't plan to then I'll probably take it under my name um, so it's probably gonna be here till it blows up um, we're hoping at least let's go ahead and get started with this installation I don't have a comparison of the stock shifter for you, unfortunately. If you guys do want to see uh, kind of a stock comparison to the JBR plate, I do have a video of when I did a JBR install or the plate on this. I'll leave the link in the description below if you guys want to watch that video. But today we're going to be doing the Torx Solutions plate and we're going to be seeing how this feels compared to the JBR plate that's currently in there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight right in to installing this bad boy in the car. So if we head over to the car, we'll head inside here. This car is dead. I won't be driving it in this video, just so you guys know. Um, it's like just the battery is just dead and there's grounding issues. I gotta figure that out, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this is the JBR short shift plate. So push in the clutch, you guys can see we are in neutral right now. If we go ahead, push it into first, take it neutral, second, neutral, third, neutral, fourth, neutral, fifth, and neutral, sixth. So you guys can see it's really short. Now if you guys get in your own Mazda Speed 3s and you guys kind of see this, you're going to be thrown at like quite far and especially when you go into second, it's going to be quite far back. And sometimes it's really hard to find your gears in this, but um, what I noticed with the JBR short shift plate, like I said, it's very clunky and it's hard to get into gear sometimes. Like when you go into third, you're almost scared to let out the clutch because sometimes it doesn't even feel like it's going into third or gear at all. So this is going to kind of save us from from being worried about if we're in gear or not and saving that general you know that safety just save, just saving the transmission so so you guys come into your car this is gonna look a little different compared to maybe yours if yours is really stock you guys might have the air box on the way if you guys do have the stock air box you're gonna have to remove the whole air box out of the car fortunately I have uh, we have a uh, intake in this so it's a lot easier to access so if you guys take a look down here you guys can see right here that is your plate 
this piece that is your uh, this is your shifter cable and this is the plate and then the weight is on this as well and this has the JBR weight uh, we're going to be taking this out and replacing it with the torque solutions short shift plate now to make this a little easier and so I have a bit more room to show you guys I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, short ram of the intake off here and then we can go ahead and access that plate so just give me one second let me take this off real quick and now that I've moved that pipe out of the way, now you guys can really, really see in here. Let's go ahead, get set up, and we'll start taking this out. So what you guys are looking at is pretty much gonna be the floor. <laughs> so this is pretty much gonna be similar to what you guys are looking at uh, with your stock um, transmission. What the first thing we're gonna do is try and get this off. There's kind of a couple ways of getting this off. You guys can use needle pliers, you guys can use a flathead to kind of get up here and pry it off. Watch your hands because this will hurt quite a bit. So needle nose did the trick. Once that's off, you're pretty much good to go here. All you have to do from this moment, I'm not sure if it's the same with you guys, but my weight is holding it down onto the uh, plate here. So I gotta go ahead and remove that. So I just took the uh, weight off here. Now I can go ahead, pop the uh, plate off. Here's the JBR plate. As you guys can see, this sits up really high. And if you guys take a look at this one, this one sits really low. This is what I'm talking about because it sits higher, your positioning is different and it's a little bit more harder on the transmission forks, which is why we're gonna be using this. But it also has adjustment, which we don't technically actually have with this. This is gonna give you one position. You can adjust this one, but same thing, it's gonna sit higher. It's not really gonna do uh, any good to your transmission. So let's go ahead and uh, put this one back in. You guys are gonna need your stock weight and your stock bolts to go into this one as well. In order to put your new plate in, you gotta move the uh, cable out of the way. You can move it over if you want. So what you guys are gonna wanna do Bring it down, just like that. You go in, you guys can see right there. Push that down, you rotate it, and when you rotate it, it locks into place. This will sit under, and then what you guys will do is here, we have the stock weight. Go ahead and take these 12 millimeters out and put it basically how you just had it. And both of them are in, so now what you gotta do, hand tighten these till they're hand tight, and then take your 12 millimeter, Make sure they're relatively tight. You don't want to over tighten them. And now this is in place. So if we move it back over here, you take your cable, clip it on just like that, and your Torx Solutions plate is now fully installed. You guys can see it looks pretty nice in there. So now that we have that installed, we can go ahead and uh, test that boy out. So let's go ahead and get in the car and notice this shiny fender. First thing you want to do is when you get in the car, obviously don't turn it on, but you can try it out when the car is off because I don't know if this is in neutral. That is in neutral. So if we go ahead. So here, let's test this out. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, six. So overall, it feels so much smoother. It doesn't feel like there's any restrictions from the JBR plate. And the throw's actually not much different. I gotta be honest with you guys. This feels still really short. I'm really, really impressed, actually. I thought the JBR was a lot shorter. And that JBR plate was also on its shorter, shorter setting compared to, you know, what this is. Like, even fourth. Fourth feels like it's neutral. Like, that looked like neutral almost. So, that's really nice. This feels great. Unfortunately, obviously I can't drive the car's dead. So I must say out of the JBR plate and the uh, Torque Solutions plate that I've both had experience with driving with, I must say that the Torque Solutions plate easily is my favorite short shift plate for the Mazda Speed platform at the moment. Obviously I think Damond offers kind of the same thing, but it's just a plate. So whatever the kind of the cheapest one you guys can find is gonna be okay really to be honest. Um, as long as it doesn't rust out and snap for some reason, but other than that it's doing its job. You guys can play around with the uh, the weight if you want. I'm not gonna go too in depth on that. Some people run no plates, some people run in a certain shift knob. You know, for a different feel, but that is fantastic. I love how that feels, and I think that's gonna suit comfortability while driving, but even give that performance edge over the stock, you know, shifter. Well, gentlemen, that's what we got today. So, uh, one thing that I wanna say is I'm not bashing on JBR's product at all. I think this is a fantastic plate, and for some people, you know what? It might not even hurt the transmission. I saw no defects or anything happen to that car with this on, and this has been on it for at least, I'd say, 20,000 plus kilometers. You know, it's been fine. There hasn't been anything that's changed within the transmission. 
you know, so I know people that have been running these things for, you know, ages, long time, 80,000 kilometers and the transmission's still fine. So there's nothing wrong with these plates. I'm just saying I would prefer not to have uh, this on since we're gonna have this car for a long time and I just really don't wanna deal if there is going to be problems with the transmission in the future because this makes more strain on them. But it's a great plate. If you guys want the shortest throw, obviously go with something like this, but the Torx Solutions plate is a fantastic replacement for the stock shifter. If you guys are looking for comfortability with daily driving and just the overall performance increase with your Mazda Speed 3. Other than that guys, that's all that I got for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like on the video, and comment down below if you guys enjoy it. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I'll make sure to get back to you. That's all I got for you. I I love, I love it. It's the plate's so good. I definitely suggest getting one. And you guys can find them online. Uh, other than that guys, thank you all for watching. Keep it real. I'll see y'all in the next one.